The Packers didn't have Jared Cook in that week six loss to the Cowboys, but with him in the lineup tonight, it made such a huge difference. Your boy went off. Get open. That's what a frustrated James Jones shouted. Chris Middleton. That Jabba has Pia. He had a team high 27. That's a franchise record. For Washington, it's only their fifth time in the playoffs since 93. Alex Nagel on the QB keeper. Taking it to the outside 30 yards. Uh oh. Uh oh. Get off me, boy! Yeah, well, it's really important at such a critical time in the Packers season with everybody downing them. You got to have your teammates back. Come on, baby! Come on, baby! Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on. You guys know what to say, right? Go back, go! Go, 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 go! But clearly, looking like a lock to win every game on paper means absolutely nothing because wins only come on the field. But no rookie QB has ever led his team to a Super Bowl, let alone win it. You ever felt like you've been kicked in the mouth or the butt? That's how the Packers felt. We got it all right here, baby, on New Channel 7. Woo! All right, we know Eddie Lacy's a big body at 242 pounds, but he's probably going to need to hit the slim fast shakes after what Coach McCarthy said. So the NFL and Hall of Fame had one job. You had one job. Get the paint job right so the Packers and Colts kick off the NFL season. The amount of adversity that yeah. they faced, mm -hmm. I would say it was a success. But given the expectations that people <laughs> have in Wisconsin, yeah. Mr. Frank is living, living life. And you know, I know what you said. Yeah. At six. It'd be M&Ms with peanuts oh, as well. Oh, 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 I got you some. You got I got you some oh, peanuts. Oh, I got you some goodness. peanuts. Okay. Yeah. Right, Heather. I got you some Skittles. Not an endorsement. No, it's not, Chris. Whoa! What right? a night. So, <laughs> if Coach Mike McCarthy decided to go for two against the Cardinals and the Packers made it, the experts would say, such a great, bold move on the road. But if the Pack don't make it, you got people calling Mac names I can't say on air. You figure if they had Adams and Randall Cobb available, two-point attempt would have been smart. But with James Jones unable to get open all game and down to their fifth and sixth receivers, it wasn't the right move. It's shaping up to be another strong year for the Mosinee girls basketball team. After finishing last year as a D2 sectional runner-up, the team stands all alone at the top of the GNC at 5-1. Overall, the team carries a 10-4 record. A big factor in their success, the play of seniors Bailey Schultz and Natasha Stubbe, the top two scorers on the team who averaged 13 and 14 points a game respectively. If the Indians can pull it all together, they can make a deep run. This team certainly has the potential. Uh, we're not there yet. Uh, but if they were to, to reach their potential, there's always a chance, and we tell the girls that, the, that the, they have to believe in it, uh, regardless of what anybody else says. I think we just like have a connection both on and off the court. She's one of my best friends, and I think having that trust with somebody really is something that makes an impact when you're on the court. Me and Natasha talked before the season, and we set really high standards for ourselves, um, our team, and you know, I know how to get her the ball. She knows how to give me the ball. We really set high expectations, and we really want to achieve them together. In their first two seasons in Madison, Zach Showalter, Bronson Koenig, and Nigel Hayes were part of teams that were 68 and 12. Sitting at nine losses, they've almost lost as much as their first two years. So those guys are learning how to lead in times of adversity while keeping the rest of the team positive. I think it's a great teaching tool for them to learn how to be a leader, them to learn how to deal with um, maybe rough waters at times and they haven't experienced it since they've been here. They're experiencing things that I can't teach them in X amount of time. And, um, you know, I think that's a, that's a great lesson for them as they go through this to learn how to handle good times and, and not so good times. The Bucks in Miami taking on the Heat. Heat down one, but on the run, it's Justice Winslow. Badgers fans all too familiar with him from that national title game, 32-31, Heat lead it. Back come the Bucks. Giannis taking it right to the ex Marquette star, Dwayne Wade for the flush. 14 points for Giannis. The Bucks take control in the fourth. Shot clock winding down. Chris Middleton, the Jaffa is pure. Two of its 22. Bucks cruise 91 to 79. Brewers veteran catcher Jonathan Lucroy said in an interview today with the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel, he's not demanding a trade, but he thinks it would be best for him and the team to part ways. Lucroy said he wants to win, and guys, he doesn't see that happening in Brewtown. And I, I, you can't really blame them because if you want to win, then you have to go somewhere else because the Brewers are going to be rebuilding for a while.